EVAP systems are one of the most common reasons for a check engine light. Sometimes it can be a quick and easy repair, sometimes it's a little bit tricky and more involved. The parts in the EVAP system we're going over are the purge valve, the vent valve, the charcoal canister, the gas tank, and the gas cap, which you can all get at 1AAuto.com. How you know you have an EVAP code? Well, obviously you had a check engine light, maybe you scanned it with a scan tool and you got some EVAP codes. Sometimes the light might not even come on, but you'll get a message on the dash saying check the gas cap. Some vehicles know that that's a common area that people forget to tighten it down and they just want you to check the gas cap before you go any further, before it sets the check engine light. So let's go check the gas cap. The first thing you want to do is just grab the gas cap, give it a shake. If it's loose, obviously, you just got to tighten it up. And you can take it off. Just take a quick look. See if there's any cracking around that seal. Sometimes you see some dry rot in there. On the filler neck itself, sometimes you'll see excessive rust buildup, and that could cause some issues. Also, this wire or this uh, cable tie. If that gets in the way, it's not gonna seal properly. For this gas cap, every gas cap's a little bit different, but you should get a click when you turn this, and it's really not clicking. The, the click you're hearing, it shouldn't be like that. It should be able to cinch down, and that's not happening properly. Now, whether you have a small leak or a large leak, or even some other type of EVAP system. It's always best to check the gas cap just in case it's something simple. Let's cut the cable. The new gas cap right here. Nice and easy. Slide that in the spot. And that's how it's supposed to tighten down. Just one click for this vehicle. Like I said, every vehicle is a little bit different. You may have a ratchet style. And if you find the ratchet style seems weak, then it's not going to be tightening down properly. But that works a lot better. Nice, quick, and easy fix. Next, we have the gas tank, which everyone knows it's going to hold the gas. But in that gas tank, while the gas is in there, there is fuel vapor. And the whole purpose of the EVAP system is to keep that fuel vapor from escaping into the atmosphere. So it needs to be a sealed system. When that system isn't sealed properly, that's when you're gonna get your check engine light. For the most part, the fuel tank isn't a common area where you're gonna have an EVAP issue. There could be some sealing issues on top or even some rust buildup that's gonna give you an issue, but it's not that common. When you go to fill gas into the tank, and the vapors are in there. They need somewhere to escape, so that's where they're gonna go to the EVAP canister, the charcoal canister, which is located right here. Right here, this hose comes off of the top of the tank, and the vapors are gonna go up this hose into the canister, and there's charcoal in the canister, and that's gonna trap the vapors from escaping into the atmosphere. There's two reasons why this charcoal canister could fail. You could have a crack in it, over time, sometimes the plastic gets brittle and that's gonna cause your EVAP leak, you're gonna get the check engine light. The other thing is it's gonna plug up solid so that when you go to fill it at a gas station, you're not gonna be able to fill the gas tank. It's gonna stop every like two minutes or so thinking the gas tank is full because there's nowhere for the fuel vapors to escape. So the fuel vapors are stuck in the canister, so you still need to vent off the pressure. So we're gonna follow this hose back and that's gonna bring us to the vent. Following the hose all the way to here where the EVAP vent valve is. So this is the vent, it's electronically controlled. You can see two wires going to it. So the computer can open and close the valve according to what it needs, whether it needs to vent the system or seal the system off. When these fail, majority of the time it's in the closed position, it's not sealing properly, so the system thinks there's a leak, and that a lot of times is due to road debris or salt or sand gets into there. So for this particular vehicle, there's actually another hose that goes along here and it comes up over here to try to eliminate some of that road debris. But some debris does get in there. Once in a while, you'll actually have a spider go in there, and if a spider goes in there and builds a nest, 
that's going to give you a code as well. That'll, it'll think the system's sealed and it's just a spider. Now you know how all these parts work. There's one more hose right here that goes to the front of the vehicle and attaches to the purge valve. Let's go check it out. Under the hood, we can see this hose right here. It's coming up from the back of the vehicle. And it goes to this solenoid valve right here. That's the purge solenoid valve. And you can see a hose goes right there. And that's where it gets its vacuum from the intake of the engine. When the engine's running, you have vacuum there. There's a connector right here with two wires going to it. And that way, the computer can command that open and close when the system requires vacuum. To put it simply, it's a valve that opens and closes. In the most part, when it fails, it's going to fail and it's not going to seal properly. And you can get a code for a small leak or even a purge when not required. There's a quick and easy explanation of how the EVAP system works if you have a check engine light and you end up needing some parts for your EVAP system. And if you need any parts for your car or these parts that we talked about, make sure you click the link in the description head over to 1AAuto.com. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so don't miss any of our videos.